Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we'll be looking at soft engineering case studies in the River Quaggy. What is soft engineering? Rivers have to be managed in order to prevent flooding and it can be done by either using hard or soft engineering. Soft engineering is the use of the natural environment to manage the river. It limits the damage of flooding. So where is the River Quaggy? The River Quaggy is a small river located in southeast London. The river had experienced a lot of flooding in the past, so locals wanted to manage it in order to prevent it from happening again. What they did to manage it was that they created a group called the Friends of the Quaggy, and they decided to remove the addition of artificial channels. So these were basically concrete structures which carried the water in the river. They wanted to restore its natural course which runs through Sutcliffe Park. A whole new channel was made for it to run through the park. But why did they run it through the park? I mean, surely if they're removing concrete channels which can be used to carry more water, that's only going to make flooding much worse. Well, Sutcliffe Park was made into a natural floodplain. If the river were to flood, the park would protect other areas around it because the water would flood onto the park and the park would be able to take up all the water to intercept it and then for the water to infiltrate in its land, hence protecting everything around it. A new lake was also made at the end of the park in order to store all the water and collect it in case the discharge rises. So all of this would prevent flooding. Advantages and disadvantages of the scheme. Here are some pros and cons of the restoration of the river Quaggy by diverting the river into another direction. An advantage is that it's cheaper of, um, compared to many engineering schemes, which are involving hard engineering. For example, in our last video, we looked at the Three Gorges Dam, which cost £25 billion to build. Now, I'm sure it didn't even cost a fraction of that amount to um, divert the river into and through Sutcliffe Park, so it is much cheaper. Also, no pollution was made from the scheme. When building the Three Gorges Dam, a lot of fossil fuels had to be used. However, in order to divert the channel back into the park, no pollution was used. It also creates habitats for local wildlife. By building the lake and creating a new one, there's a lot more fish and biodiversity which can live inside it. However, the disadvantages are is that if the river were to meander, it could destroy the park, hence probably ruining some other land nearby. Also, if the river were to flood, deposits would raise the floodplain, which would then damage the area as well. Here are some questions on the river quaggy and soft engineering schemes involved. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper and then hit play after you've paused it in order to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be a brand new unit and we'll be looking at the distribution of cold environments. This is the end of rivers and management and flooding. So be sure to visit the channel if you want to go over all of the information in the topic. You can also visit revisealevel.co.uk for more information on all of your subjects. As always, thanks for watching and good luck in your exam.